at noon, a man accused of beating his dog to death is now out of jail on bond. Now, this comes as Miami Beach police released disturbing new details on this case of animal cruelty, including a motive for why this happened. CBS 4's Tiani Jones is live at the jail in West Miami Dade with the latest developments for us. Tiani? Well, by the time help got to that tiny dog, it was too late. He was already dying. And the man accused of getting him to that point, he may be out of jail, but he's far from out of trouble. Is it true that what you did to the dog? Silence from 40 year old Sigmund Hernandez as he left jail Thursday morning. He had nothing to say about accusations of slapping and choking his Yorkie and then leaving the pup to die. Miami Beach police say the 250 pound man confessed to abusing the seven pound Yorkie for vomiting in his car. Hernandez turned himself in less than 24 hours after security video from the night of the crime was released. It showed him on April 7th as he took something out of his car, put it by a column inside a parking garage at a Publix on Miami Beach. He was recognized in that video by the people he works for, a delivery company. Very sad. Yeah. Have a dog. My boss have a dog. We are very sad. An employee at the grocery store found the dog, contacted police, and police took the dog to an animal hospital. That's where vets discovered the dog had neck trauma, seven broken ribs on the left side. The Yorkie vet's name, Lily, didn't make it. The search was on for the man in the video, and that's when a coworker recognized the delivery sign on top of his car. And I called my boss and I said, look, this is the guy I've seen the, in the video, and, and he called to the pizza place. Mm -hmm. We take the information about him mm -hmm. and he called the police. She says Hernandez worked for them as a delivery driver for about three months. Hernandez, seen here with another dog on his Facebook page, has been arrested before on grand theft and possession charges. He now faces animal cruelty and abandonment charges. One thing that stood out on Hernandez's arrest affidavit, under weapons seized, it lists hands, feet, and fist. Reporting live in Southwest Day, Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News.